Hello and welcome to episode 16 of my 52 project. My name is Gustav Jansson and I'm a photographer from Gothenburg in Sweden. This week I will show you a specific photo of a boat, as you see, and uh, I'll show you some more photos from, from the same day. I took a short photo walk by myself around an area called Mjörn, or uh, the lake is called Mjörn, and this is an area just next to it. There is a big playa, Playa Mjörn, I think they call it. I've never been there bathing, but I think uh, they call it Playa Mjörn. And uh, after the beach, or further away from the beach, there is a nature reserve for birds. Uh, big bird life. I've never been there before, but uh, <laughs> I can say there are a lot of birds there. Uh, they they sing and scream and uh, talking with each other constantly all over the place. On the ground, in the sky, in the trees, everywhere. I took a short uh, walk there as I waited for my son being done with his things. And... Um, it was sunset or the sun was on its way down so it was a really sharp light as you can see in uh, this photo uh, <laughs> where where I aimed for for the tree in the horizon and the tree was kind of had a kind of nice shape and uh, on the on the other side of the tree there was a pier uh, framed by the tree and that was uh, what I had in mind when I took this photo, but um, as you see, the the flare <laughs> hit the lens pretty hard, even with the um, with the lens hood out uh, on my Summicron. But uh, ah, it's it's really dark shadows, and uh, that that flare or that sun destroyed the photo pretty much. But even even if it would be okay without the flare, I think um, 50 millimeters was way too short to uh, to frame that uh, that tree and the pier. As I saw it with my eyes, I think. <clears throat> so so that that's the condition. It was really really strong, harsh light from the sun, uh, for good and for bad. For this boat, it was a good thing because um, you see, the first thing I saw when I saw the boat, I walked on the bridge right of this boat, and um, I saw I saw interest. This was the only boat that uh, was put in the water uh, because it was like snowy for one or two weeks ago. So I guess people haven't had the courage to put their boats in the water yet. But uh, this one has probably been in the water all winter, uh, if you look at it. But when I when I walked down to the boat and uh, I saw the sun just shining into these windows on the uh, teak tree, maybe, in the cockpit, or how you say on a boat, I think it is cockpit, uh, that sun and that, that brown tune was the the main thing that catch my attention and um, that's why I focused on that as well I tried to make this at f2 but it was it it looked really strange to to have a blurry boot and uh, the sunshine in the tree didn't lift uh, lift the uh, lift the scene that much that I hoped so I chose this photo that was taken at I think it was f4 or f 5.6 or something where the windows are a bit in focus but still uh, the inside of the cockpit is the main sharpness here I don't really know why I I mean to boats that much because I'm not born and raised by the sea and uh, we never had a boat and I don't want to have a boat because it's too much work <laughs> that I don't want to buy me into but uh, there is something about old uh, old boats that are very photogenic, I think, at least. So um, yeah, this is this is the photo of of last week, and this is the photo I picked for my 16th 
photo for this project. I didn't take many photos last week because it was a really really messed up week with uh, meetings, with um, yeah it was crazy last week. So this is the one and um, as I say goodbye I will show you some more photos from this, uh, this walk and uh, raise up the volume for this song as well so you can just sit back and relax and see and take these impressions for yourself thanks for this week bye bye <laughs>